Hair's doing something. All right, today, trying something new. We're calling this, call it, call it hand-me-down reviews. Yeah, I don't want to explain too much. Let's get into it. This video is brought to you in part by Vibrant Life. Check out Vibrant Life's line of gym wear, hoodies, pump covers. You're going to love it. I'm going to be reviewing the Ender 3 Pro. Now this little buddy I picked up for a hundred bucks at Micro Center. And that's gonna be the objective of this show is clearance, uh, gadgets, and reviewing them. So this is a very cheap Chinese 3D printer. This is my first 3D printer. Started on it probably a year and a half ago. Let's go through the pros first. Very cost effective. It's great for beginners. I don't know if Micro Center still has the deal going on, but if you're able to get something that makes 3D printed objects for $100, I'd say that's a pretty good deal. It works. It works right out of the box. Obviously, you have a little bit of adjusting to do, but there's nothing YouTube tutorial can't fix. There's plenty of content out there for 3D printers. Um, so I guess let's fire up a print. I had a, a mug holder that broke, so I think that's what I'm going to be showing you. You're supposed to do this with like a microfiber cloth so it doesn't leave behind lint, but I've already got alcohol on the surface, so I think it's gonna be clean enough. Here's some of the cons with this thing. So you're gonna learn on this printer. It does not like to stay calibrated for very long. So you're gonna be calibrating it a lot. There's no auto fixes really. Uh, you have to be able to adjust your settings manually. You can go through some of the upgrades I've done for it. Now there's a couple of printed accessories. This tool rack, this filament roller, and I have a upgraded fan on it. It's just bigger than the stock power supply fan. And obviously I did it real nice. Hello, computer. First things first, we need to set up our file. So this is gonna be like, <laughs> mom, get the camera. Type angle. I print extra thick. This is a very cheap printer. You're not gonna get great results if you're trying to go really thin. Now I gotta find this because I deleted it. Oh, it's only gonna take an hour. Not bad. I might regret this later, but I am not even going to level the bed because I don't think I'm gonna have too many issues. Don't worry guys, while it's printing, I'm having a bacon break. Print is done. This is a pretty good print because I'm still going to be able to use it even though it looks like doo-doo. So this is a good opportunity to talk about some of the issues with this printer. Number one, I don't know if you can see this. This isn't how this is supposed to be shaped. It's supposed to be more like a popsicle stick. This side's a little bit better. Very, very inconsistent. Now there's a ton of upkeep you can do with it, but I wanted to do just a quick as it sits print for this video. Um, and this is a pretty good representation. There's supposed to be three holes here, but you can see there's some support structure. So I'll get those. There's some wispy bits that's called stringing. And that's also another issue that can be fixed, but takes a bit of effort because of how manual it is. Let me get those supports cleaned out and I'll show it in action. Here we go with the inconsistencies like I was talking about. The other two support structure. Ugh, it was pretty easy to pop out, but that one was a little more difficult. But yeah, I literally just used a pen that I don't care about to pop it out. Yeah, this will work. This will suit me just fine. These hooks already feel stronger than the last one. Would I recommend the Enter 3 Pro? Yes at the price point that I got it at. Because beyond that, there's a couple different options if you're going to be spending that amount of money. So this is great for learning, being able to have a physical physical settings with your prints, um, like the manual deals I was talking about, um, over physical settings instead of digital settings is more beneficial because if you're like me, you need a little bit of the, the touch sensation to really grasp something. I used to use a fidget toy in school. Not a fidget toy, like a stress ball or click my pen, whatever. Stay concentrated. I'm just 
gonna do it. You're not gonna see it. All right, quick explanation for what happened. I'm not Casey Neistat, but it's it. Um, so let's get these cups up here and see how we did. Wow, the cup holder holds cups. How wonderful. Yes, this is a quick three minute review of the Ender 3 Pro. Uh, if you liked it, go ahead and subscribe. I might be doing this more. I might not do this because I don't owe you anything. Um, Love you, have a great day.